Welcome on my network. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to receive the most recent video. Hello, guys, what is the Thomas Grammar approach? If you don't have evidence of either of the criminals on their whereabouts or contact, how to find them? The answer is a Thomas Grammar technique. How are we supposed to use it? The police do not know all prisoners, but the prisoner may know other prisoners in relation to the police. The prisoner is more in touch with other prisoners. Maybe a prisoner in your custody has contact with someone or a group of people you want to find. Whether you provide them with a mobile phone or another source. Maybe he's doing something for you. If he calls another prisoner, you can keep up with them. Let think if you provide cell phone or get help from all of the prisoners who they are in your custody. You may collect a lot of record about all prisoner you do not know them. With this approach, you are able to arrest large numbers of prisoners and stop their illegal activities. In 2005, Tommy Ray, a special agent with the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, came up with an idea that would revolutionize cold case homicide investigations, making a game out of it. Details from unsolved cases were put onto the faces of traditional 52-card decks and distributed to inmates in the hopes that between hands of poker the incarcerated would give investigators new leads. Although the idea was originally greeted with skepticism, the cards proved to be a rousing success, and are now being implemented in 18 states and counting. Faced with dozens of cold cases, investigators print unsolved crimes on playing cards and distribute them to prison inmates. When a prisoner plays a round of cards, he sees a familiar name and helps police solve the cold case. I'd had a case, several years ago a drug case where I went to interview a guy and he said to me, you want my brother, you don't want me. I'd contacted the wrong prisoner at this prison. So I said, well, since I dragged you out, have a coke, it's on me. We're sitting there, having a coca-cola, and I said, I also work cold case homicide, so. You don't know anything about any old murders, do ya? He says, well, I know about this one murder, and it's already been solved. I asked, what case is that? And he told me Angela Nash. I knew that case wasn't solved. He said, well I thought the boyfriend had been arrested, because he admitted to me that he killed this girl. So he gives me this information, and I'm able to go out and solve this five-year-old homicide case. Just coincidentally, I'm thinking, if we had a way to contact all these inmates, there's no telling what information we could get. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon to receive the most recent video.